Okay, so this is going to be a derivation of the area formula for a trapezoid. Um, there's a number of ways you can find the area for a trapezoid. You need some measurements, first of all. Um, so the two parallel sides in a trapezoid are the bases. So we'll call this base 1 and this base 2. Uh, the perpendicular distance between the bases, so if this is per perpendicular and that's perpendicular, that's the height of the trapezoid. Uh, and as long as you have these <coughs> three measurements, you're good to go. Um, you can split the trapezoid into two triangles, namely this triangle, um, this triangle, and then a rectangle in the center. And if you can find the area of a rectangle and you can find the area of a triangle, um, then you're good to go. So, another way to do it is to split the trapezoid into two triangles by drawing this diagonal. So now we have two regions of area, um, area 1 and area 2. So if you can find the area of area 1 and find the area of area 2 and add them together, then you get the area of the trapezoid. And we can do that because each of these is a triangle. Um, so this was base 1 and this was base 2. So what is the area of area 1? Well, it's a triangle. So area 1 is equal to 1 half the base of the triangle times the height. And the base of the triangle is B1. And the height um, is the length of the altitude of the triangle. And so what's area 2? <coughs> area 2 is one half base times height, um, but use B2 for the base. So you have area equals one half B2 times the height of this triangle. Now the height of this triangle, A2, is the altitude, the length of the altitude. And remember that to find an altitude, it's the perpendicular from the opposite vertex. So if we're looking at B2, the opposite vertex is here. I need to drop a perpendicular from this point to this segment. It's actually going to lie outside the triangle. The perpendicular from this point to this segment here and recognize that this distance is the same as this distance which is just h so this is h and that's h so the height of these two triangles is actually the same it's just the height of the trapezoid and so this is h so the area of area one is one half b one h and the area of area two is one half b two h so that means that the area of a trapezoid so the area of the trapezoid is equal to one half b one h plus one half b two h, and you can factor this because each of these two terms shares a common factor of one half h. This term has a one half h, and this term has a one half h. So factor that one half h out. You're left with one half h times the quantity b one plus b two. So this is the area formula for a trapezoid. As long as you know the lengths of the bases and the height of the trapezoid, calculating the area is quite simple. It comes from finding the areas of each of these two triangles and adding them together, as shown.